This is the Onishua Aropayitu. This is where we're going. More than Greeks, we're building it back. Hello and welcome back to Mike's Bikes. Do you see bikes? Do you see helmets? You ain't gonna see any of that today. Today I'm grabbing the opportunity to have a stroll downtown Athens and I'm taking you with me. Where are we going? We're going to Acropolis. We're going to the Parthenon. We're going to the cradle of civilization. We're going to the birthplace of democracy. Stay with me. I'm gonna pick up the train, the metro. I'm gonna see you downtown. Cheers. going there. You know, when you reach the Acropolis station, there is a representation of the West Frieze of Parthenon. These have been carved, chiseled on Parthenon by Phidias which was a master architect and his sculptors were over 50, but the leads were Ictinos and Callicratis. There are several ways to reach Acropolis. I have chosen the metro station to Acropolis because I like to walk the Dionysia Aeropagite pedestrian road only. So you can go by Acropolis, you can drop off at Monastiraki, you can go through Plaka, there, there are many ways. Go to Google Maps, <laughs> you'll sort it out. But let's go now. Out of Dionysio Aeropagitu. You know when you are at the correct place, when you see the museum, and walking towards the road, you see the, you see the Holy Rock and the Parthenon. Let's go. This is the line to get to Acropolis from the south side. Pro tip. Get your tickets online. This is the Onisio Aeropagitu. This is where we're going. Again, get your hats. Get your sunglasses. Get a bowl of water. Try not to be the fainted tourist on the top of the Acropolis. I don't need to tell you to watch your belongings huh? in the metro and generally around the area. Walking through Aeropagitu, it's very nice. Though uh, you better start early. Going up in one of the most popular theaters in in Athens is the Herodus Atticus going up. Take a moment to appreciate the sheer effort required to bring and stack these stones with no 
hydraulic with no machinery just hands physics and ingenuity let's go it's popular what? how couldn't it be budget an hour at least if it's so busy budget an hour this is this is the gate this is Athens as it is today down there is Piraeus there used to be a fortified wall with a the way for Athenians to reach Piraeus because this is where their, their fleet was. This is where the fleet that participated in the, in the Battle of Salamis, which is one of the old, I think it's the oldest, it's the oldest naval, naval battle. You can understand from the entrance what you're going to see afterwards. If the entrance is so magnificent, expect the best, but it's, it's very crowded today. Hundreds of people. Hundreds. Let's go to Orgot's Erechtheon first, to see the Cariatides. These are the Cariatides. These are columns chiseled out of women figures. One of it sadly is in the British Museum. Along with the rest of the stolen marbles, well, both. There has been, uh, under the Ottoman Empire and if you remember that I told you earlier that there, have, there was a big explosion, there was a guy named Lord Elgin, so be it, Lord, uh, that he came and bought from the Ottoman Empire the Parthenon sculptures. Well, I, I don't know how you can buy history, but this is what happened. To me as a Greek, I will go by his stole. Apologies, my British viewers, but this is how Greeks feel. Imagine if somebody came and bought Stonehenge and brought it back to Greece. You would be pissed off. This is built in a different rhythm compared to the Parthenon. Let me show you around. This is the latest edition, a task long overdue. This is an elevator for people with disabilities. Well done. Everybody should be able to access and enjoy it. Let's move a bit to the subject of the channel, <laughs> mountain bikes. No, no, I'm not gonna mountain bike. I'm just gonna show you where I ride. From Acropolis, this is Simitos Mountain. This is where you see me ride those amazing trails. Then, this is Likabetus Hill. And over there is Parditha. Tatoi, well, you remember the burnt trails, but it's there. And over there it's Pedeli. This is how easy it is to visit Athens. Go for a mountain bike ride. Visit a place with 2,500 years of history the cradle of democracy and have a great time. Now, Bye. I'll have a stroll around. I'm going from down there. Chris. And after that, I'm going to give you a pro tip. We go down from there? Where to eat the best kebab in town. More of that later on. Okay, a few words about the Parthenon. 
This was a temple which was dedicated to Athena. It's uh, the goddess that gave to this ancient city, which is Athens today, its name. It had an enormous, more than 10 meters uh, tall uh, statue of Athena, the goddess Athena, made from gold and ivory. And it was the central bank of Greece. This was the bank, this was the vault of all the treasures of all the states comprising of the Athenian Empire. Sorry about the wind. It was kept. This is the newest temple. Uh, right after the Marathon battle at I think 480 BC, there was a, there was a raid of the Persians 10 years later that destroyed the old Parthenon, the pre-Parthenon as they say. After, after peace has been negotiated between, uh, the, between Pericles, which was the ruler of ancient Athens, the state of Athens, he went and asked from the Congress for funds in order to build this magnificent temple dedicated to, to Athena. Athens is taking its name from. Mythology says that when the Athenians wanted to give a name to their city, they asked from the gods, who, on, on who wants to be its protector. Two, two gods came forward, one was Poseidon and the other was Athena. Poseidon has striken with his spear in order to give the Athenians water, but it was all salty. Athena planted an olive tree, so the Athenians picked the olive tree, of course which up to now is one of the most known products from Greece. Olive oil and olive trees. Well, Pericles, during the golden century that he was running this place, left us this. As this is a very old building, more than 2,005 years. Old. It has gone through many transformations. It has changed the rulers from the Greeks to the Romans to the Ottomans. Sadly, the south side which has been destroyed, it was under the Ottoman rule where they were keeping this place as a gunpowder storage. So, during a Venetian siege, an artillery shot has blown this up to pieces. As you can see though, modern Greeks were building it back together. The, white, the whitest marbles are new additions. They have been excavated from the same place that the initial marbles have been in the Pedeli Mountains. And we're piecing that together. We're piecing that together for the whole civilization. This is this is this is for the whole world to come and see. Actually, Parthenon was very lucky. Through the ages, when religions are changing and re new religions have been invented, and People were believing in them and building their churches and the altars and the temples. They used to find the previous predominant religion temples, destroy them and build over them. Parthenon has been through many changes. It has been converted from an ancient temple to a church, then to a mosque. And at least, at least, the people who were keeping converting that to other, to other religion and other religion types of churches and temples, they didn't destroy it. Parthenon is very lucky and very unlucky. Well, if it hadn't been for the Ottomans to keep it as a gunpowder storage, and if it hadn't been for Elgin who has stolen the marbles, this could have been a lot better. Well, most of the sculptures have been removed because 
With the explosion everything was scattered and the archaeologists dug it up and they are now in the Acropolis Museum that I showed you earlier. This is a subject of another video. I'm gonna make two videos of this. Acropolis and the Acropolis Museum. And in the meantime, I'm gonna do what I know best, mountain bike. <laughs> so, let's go. A little bit quiet over here. This is the south side which has been destroyed by the explosion. Now we're building this back up. I don't know if this is gonna be standing in my lifetime because archaeology is a very, very slow process because you have to dig, you have to take the fragments and piece a puzzle together which is more than two and a half thousand years old. Not an easy task. So if you come for a holiday in Greece, budget a few days to spend in Athens. A couple will do. Visit archaeological sites. If you are up to mountain biking, drop me a line. I will arrange a ride for you. And visit the beaches. This is a blessed country. This is a blessed place. Well, Greeks, we could do better, but... Uh... This is the Acropolis Museum. Down there... It's the Panathinaikos Stadium. This was the place where the Panathenian Games, rivalry of the rivals of the Olympic Games, were being hosted. This is where the Athens Marathon, and I as a marathon runner also, finish. Down below is the theater of Dionysus. This has been initially a wooden theater, but it has been later built out of stone. Let me show you a detail. Amazing. Two and a half thousand years old. The Rotus Articus Theatre. Acropolis Museum. That was a different video that had nothing to do with mountain bikes. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. And I hope you have been entertained. If you want me to do more videos about the archaeological sites of Athens, which I'm, a, I'm very fond of, let me know in the comments. Next video is going to be a mountain bike video, so <laughs> with that, ride safe, ride hard, ride for fun. And stay for a bit, I have a pro tip about the best kebab in town. See you there. And this is where today's video ends, actually. Anasis kebab, the best kebab in town. So, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have lunch, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Thanks for staying up to here. Cheers.